Let's bring in Florida Congressman Byron Donald. He's a member of the Oversight Committee. Congressman, you were in the briefing today. Did you get the vibe that they might have been not being quite honest with you? Uh, yeah, got that vibe. Uh, there's a lot of things that are happening in there I'm not totally aware of. But one thing that makes it tough to discuss this is that you are talking about some of the security protocols uh, at the White House, so it makes it difficult to really talk about this publicly. But to me, the thing that's lost to me is with all the surveillance that we have at our capability, we don't know who left a dime bag of cocaine in the White House. Like, or we can't even, like, narrow it down. That's the most frustrating thing overall. Well, they're narrowing it down to about 500 people, and then they're just going to drop it. Did you get a sense of why they're just dropping it? Uh, I think what I, what I gained from it was is that because there's nothing of destructive power, they're basically handling that now off, I think, to an uh, investigative branch with FBI or even local police. But again, the Secret Service is charged with securing this facility. And so that's why I think for it to essentially be dropped off, because you're not talking about anything that has destructive capability, then that I think they're looking at it's outside their purview now. But again, we just want answers because you don't want something like this to happen again um, in, in the White House. This is the most secure facility in our country. Uh, the president of the United States is there every single day or should be there every single day. For, that's another story for another day. We want to make sure that place is secure. So it's not anthrax. So they just drop it. Did you hear also that this was the third time they found drugs in the Biden White House? Yes, they did also state that to us. Um, and again, like this is the thing. Like how many? Like again, how many times is this happening? We now hear three. Um, so very concerning. I think the other thing is they're going to have their, an internal discussion with White House, with the White House administration, about enhancements or changes to these security protocols. So let's see what they come up with. I'm very interested to see how that's going to work. Well, the Democrats think this is case closed. You'll never hear about it again. And the Secret Service is fantastic. The Secret Service, you remember, Congressman deleted all their text messages from January 6th. Do you trust the Secret Service? Look, I got to tell you right now, I don't really trust any of the federal agencies. That's why in the House we're doing a lot of oversight work that I know you guys definitely cover. But then also from an appropriation standpoint, looking at what we're spending money on, how we spend that money and do everything we can to hold these, hold this administration. And, I, and I'm going to move the Biden administration aside for a moment, hold the bureaucracy and this deep state accountable. Because you have people who've been there a long time who are covering up a lot of things that they don't want out for the public because it may cause embarrassment or because it may actually show that we have some serious corruption issues in the federal government. You remember the Epstein death, that all the cameras were blank, not working, whatever, when he, quote unquote, killed himself? Did you get the sense from the briefers that the cameras missed it, the cameras weren't rolling, the cameras didn't capture that specific area? What'd they tell you? Well, what I can share is, is that in terms of camera footage on the, the specific area, there is not camera footage of this area. Uh, I don't want to get into anything more than that because we are talking about some White House security protocols. How can you go into the White House, into the West Wing, mind you? And then we're not talking about where the massive tours are. That's the East Wing. The West Wing is where business is being conducted. And so you have people going into this part and drugs are being found there. That is a serious problem. The Biden White House needs to be full-throated and speak clearly on this about what's going on and how they're going to fix it. Do you think they couldn't narrow down the suspects or they won't narrow down the suspects? I think from the briefing, it is difficult to narrow down the suspects. And that's when you're going to have to have the White House administration being working in conjunction with Secret Service. As I understand it, those lines of communication are open and they've given Secret Service the information they looked for. But I think that's where you have to deal with White House logs and some other stuff to figure out how far you get into that. And then there's this cross uh, purview between just Secret Service and what their authority is versus the White House and essentially their control of movement and so on and so forth in the West Wing. Congressman, if they found coke at your house, would this go the same way? Absolutely not. Come on, man. You already know the answer to that. <laughs> no, but that's this, why this the American be people going down can't like believe that. They can't I believe know. you can just find drugs on the premises and everyone's like, okay, case closed, one and done. That's why what? people can't believe it. 
And I think the bigger thing to that point is, you already know that, that the big media, The View, and all these commentators, they would never let it go. It would be the scandal of, of the moment when, until they found their next scandal of the moment. And that's what will be happening from a media perspective. So the reason why we take this seri as serious as we are and we are pressing for questions and answers is because this is important. Um, and in some respects, it speaks to the lax atmosphere that exists at this White House. And if these things are kind of just traipsing through the White House, House, um, that's a serious concern with respect to foreign policy. You know, that's and a domestic great, policy that's a great point States. because they're not taking the whole thing seriously. They don't close the border. They don't enforce the law. They, their son gets away with pretty much whatever he wants. And, and it's starting to anger a lot of people because, you know, it wouldn't go like this if Trump were there and they found the bag or if they found it in my house or any one of your constituents house. And I think you nailed it. Congressman, thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.